How painful do you think this can be for this 14 year old boy to be groaning in such pain as this? Mere looking at this young boy, you can imagine the extent of the agony he has been through that made him to be this lean. He is in pain and unable to walk or sit. His grandmother who brought him to Faith and Miracle International Church after she had taken him to several hospitals and health centers in looking for solution to the situation he found himself after a fall he had on a football pitch when he was playing a football match in preparation for the match his team was supposed to play in China. Oruko mi ni Sidikatu Ismaila. Omo ma mi lo wa legbe mi fi to ni. Omo odun menla for 10 years. O n gba ball ni. Play ya ni. So ibi en wa ti lo play. O sa won din be. Ni ibi tan yen lo ba ye. Ko lerin. Owo na mo de owo asese tu owo ni. Usage din bi an tin te gun ni ati de. Mo si se abe fun. Mo se fun laya, mo se fun ni bi tan. O ma rin da dra, o si ma n gba bo lo ma lo school bet ko le lo bayi ko si le rin. Ati na o le 500. After the incident he had on the field, he sustained injury and from that his life turned upside down until he was brought to meet with God of senior prophet GF Adetuber in Faith and Miracle International Church where the man of God ministered healing and deliverance to him free of charge all in Jesus name. Madam, yes sir, when I was playing football. You fell down and you could not walk? Yes sir. Since when? Four months ago. Four months? Which yes. of the legs? This our yes, young brother, 14 year old, How fell you? down Is that the reason why you are losing weight? Yes sir. And our father is ministering to him right now for healing and for deliverance in the name of the Lord Jesus, the Christ. As our father is ministering to you, God is touching you. Don't forget to come back on Sunday to come and give the testimony of the Lord's faithfulness to you. That is the only payment that the Lord Jesus Christ asked for on this mountain. God will be expecting you, our father will be expecting you as well to rejoice with you and to thank God on your behalf. And the is free to the glory of God. And now he is fit and back on his feet. My name is Eken Victor and this is my grandmother. Firstly, I would like to thank God in my life and my grandma's life. I, we wanted to travel to China, but on Saturday we were playing one competition, so I fell down, I broke my hands. I went to, when I slept, I woke up the following morning. I could not walk very well because I was supposed to go to church. So the following day, it was on Monday, I was supposed to go and do the, do exam in my school. But I could not walk. I was hot. All my body was paining me. So I told my grandma. Grandma took me to hospital. When we now reached there, the, the nurse told my grandma that I fell down, that I no wanted to tell her. So I told my grandma the truth that I fell down, that it was true. I was referred back to UCH. When I now reached there, I now did operation. So all the doctors were, they were just saying I will play, but I was telling them amen. But inside me, I did not believe I can still play. Ball. So it was now, let's say, after like six months. So there was now one nurse in that hospital. She, uh, she told my grandma that there's one church that if she believed that she should bring me here. 
Because I was feeling pain, I told her to come only, so she brought my picture. She was now praying in church. The man of God now touched my picture. When she now got home, I was laughing. So she brought me here, and the man of God touched me. I was happy. Because the day I came here, I was crying. I was feeling pain. After he touched me, I was even happy. I was not feeling pain again. So I was happy. I went home. So after some things changes, so I want to say, I want to thank God for making me work. That day when you were brought here, we saw that somebody carried you. That means after the surgery, you still could not walk. No, I could not walk. And when you were in the vehicle, you were groaning in pain. Yes. What was happening to you then? It looked as if I have want to die. Today, to the glory of God, you are standing. You are standing on your two legs. Um, can you do some of those things you could not do with that leg before now? Wow. And you are getting prepared to go back to the field, to the glory of God, according to the word of God that the man of God spoke to your life. Yes, ma'am. Mama, Ibere ti e mi fe bi yin ni le kan si. E so, ori shidi shi owo 30 na, oni 40, oni 30, oni 150, or 100. Lori oke yi, e lo le na, kolon wo to fi o wo kan mo yin, koto wo san. Lori oke yi. Mwa o ba, mwa o ba kobo. Di si. Be ni. A, ba kobo, mwa o ba kobo. Oh, see, be on me for me. So, more water at dinner, new usage. Oh, call ya a million. Walai. A poor rima. Kill a wife, a sonic call. Oh, my dear, so you can't get there in Tolon, she didn't know you. A gigantin lost or she did. Motin lost or she killed us. Killed us on the family. Yard, do I? Money, more do pile or door long. More fear my bammy low coyte. A mobile long, but you lose him. Tori or mana. You got a bed every one by me, Benny. Koda, Olon se se ya no fun mi. Jesus da bra nu aye mi. Ti mi o si le gbagbe. Lai lai. Mama just confirmed the story brother Victor narrated to us and mama said she did not pay a cobble on this mountain before and even after the healing of our grandson. Congratulations sir. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations grandma Ekuriri. If you have been blessed by this video, like, follow and share.